care, chafes under the criticism it has received, but it never denies what its detractors say. Care is worried people might think it is involved in criminal activity. Care claims that its membership and donations have declined as a result of its public naming on the Attachment A list, citing this Washington Times article. Being publicly labeled as a criminal organization, CARE does not have any recourse under the law to fight this baseless accusation. This action is clearly violative of CARE's constitutional right, and as such, CARE seeks for the court to strike its name and every other name from the list of unindicted co-conspirators. CARE is cognizant that the public naming of third parties that have not been officially charged with a crime is against the Department of Justice's guidelines. CARE feels persecuted. CARE accuses the government of vindictive smearing of Muslim advocacy groups. CARE reminds us of cases where the government has published the names of unindicted co-conspirators to discipline anti-Vietnam war protesters, invoking names not heard for a long time. Not very friendly for an amicus brief. The government opposed CARE's motion in a September 4th, 2007 document, saying, The court should deny CARE's requested leave to file an amicus brief. The purpose of the proposed brief is not to assist the court, but rather to promote its own interests. Conspicuously absent from CARE's brief is how it will assist the court in the resolution of any issue pending in this criminal case. The role of CARE founder Omar Ahmed on the Palestine Committee in the presence of Ahmed and Nihad Awad at the 93 meeting of the Palestine Committee in Philadelphia were described during the public trial in November 1996. During that trial, defendant Ashkar was represented by William B. Moffitt, author of CARE's current motion for leave to file an amicus brief. CARE has been identified by the government at trial as a participant in an ongoing and ultimately unlawful conspiracy to support a designated terrorist organization, a conspiracy from which CARE never withdrew. Because this court is unable to provide CARE with any meaningful relief as contemplated by law, CARE's request, to the extent an amicus brief can request relief, must be rejected as moot. CARE alleges that the negative reaction by the American public can be seen in the decline of membership rates and donations resulting from the government's publicizing of CARE as an unindicted co-conspirator. That donations that they rely on for funding have suffered since the government named them as an unindicted co-conspirator, and that the government's labeling of them as an unindicted co-conspirator has chilled their associational activity. In support of these assertions, however, CARE relies upon a June 2007 article in the Washington Times, which revealed, by reviewing CARE's tax filings, that CARE's membership declined 90% from 2001 through 2006, down from 29,000 members to less than 1,700. The article provides no further factual information regarding CARE's declining membership since 2006. Ironically, the very same article, upon which it now relies, was publicly discredited by CARE Executive Director Nihad Awad, who claimed the article was false and misleading. All of the harms alleged by CARE in its memorandum to this court pertain to its decreasing membership and donations resulting from CARE's negative reputation within the United States prior to being named as an unindicted co-conspirator in this prosecution. 